Good afternoon. My name is Brian Chapa, and today it's my great pleasure to welcome all of our seniors from La Jolla ISD to our annual virtual baccalaureate assembly honoring the graduating class of 2021. I would also like to welcome all family members, staff, and community who are joining us today for our baccalaureate event. To begin the service, I would like to formally congratulate and honor every graduate from the class of 2021. I would also like to congratulate every parent, family member, teacher, and guest who believed in supporting the graduates we are celebrating here today. At this time, I would also like to say thank you to all of the La Jolla ISD school board members who have spent a lot of time advocating and supporting our students for overseeing the operation of this district. We thank you for your commitment and we thank you for your service. To our awesome superintendent, Dr. Gisela Science, we thank you for your supervision and outstanding leadership, which we have, which has made our district a very successful one. I would also like to extend our appreciation to our principals from our high schools, our academies, college and career center, and early college high schools. We thank you for setting a climate of high expectations for student achievement. Your support, motivation, and encouragement have helped the students reach our vision of academic success. To all of our teachers, we thank you for your patience and your passion for teaching during this difficult school year. The commitment, flexibility, and creativity you displayed during this challenging year has been exemplary. We are forever grateful to you. Now, as we continue with this assembly, I would like to thank everyone for their attendance and would like to lead in a short prayer. Heavenly Father, we come together today in our presence to give you thanks for this assembly, the baccalaureate. We pray you speak to our hearts and bless every person who is attending this virtual assembly. Thank you for your love, favor, and provision. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hello, La Jolla ISD families and students of the class of 2021. We recognize the impact COVID-19 has had on your senior year. We know that you, your family, and your friends were looking forward to the many events that are the culmination of your academic and school career. La Jolla ISD has worked diligently to ensure we celebrate your accomplishments and we're excited to hold in-person graduations. This will be your last learning experience of your high school career. Soon, you will be leaving La Jolla ISD and pursuing new dreams and exciting new opportunities. I would like to thank our parents and community members for the unconditional support that they have showed us during these difficult times. Thank you for all the support you give our students, our employees, and foremost, our district. We couldn't do our work without all your help and support. Class of 2021, your experience has been different but the final chapter has yet to be written. All of your teachers and staff are committed to working with you so that this last chapter honors your accomplishments and your legacy. In the meantime, be careful and stay safe. Let's write the last chapter together. I can't wait to see you at graduation. Congratulations, La Jolla ISD class of 2021. A student from Juarez Lincoln High School now will now share the significance of the baccalaureate. Hi, my name is Sandra Science from Juarez Lincoln High School, and today I'll be reciting the significance of the baccalaureate. The baccalaureate ceremony originated at Oxford University in 1432. The baccalaureate service is a joyous occasion, a time to rejoice, to praise, to honor, and to celebrate our successes. And tonight we return to this long-standing tradition, a tradition that goes beyond color, ethnicity, gender, and even religious denomination. Now it's time to reflect upon the education we have received and to complete, contemplate what lies ahead. As seniors, we have completed this part of our education. We have reached this milestone, and we thank you all for celebrating with us. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jorge La Rosa, and while I was in high school, I've had the honor of being introduced to very special people I now call friends. I've had wonderful teachers who have impacted my life greatly. At Palmview High School, I was directed to pursue a public service endorsement. I knew that with this endorsement, 
I would make a lasting contribution to society. Through this endorsement process, I was given the opportunity to begin an internship at Benson Elementary. With a partner, I would shadow a teacher and assist her with her students. That class helped me to gain knowledge, leadership skills, and helped me meet some of my closest friends today. Through this process, I was also given responsibility over students. I began to speak to them and help them excel. In turn, as I helped others, I helped myself. It was a boost to my self-esteem and it built up my confidence. Also, as I worked with my classmates, friendships began to form. It was a great experience. After this, my counselor advised me to take part in South Texas College courses, which I plan to do until I complete my core college education. I thank God today for opening a door of advancement for me. I also want to thank my teachers, counselors, and friends. Through your help and counsel, I am now motivated to stay on the right road to success. Good evening, everybody. My name is Leila Gutierrez. I'm a senior here at Palmview High School, and I was asked to tell you guys my testimony. So when I was a kid, I was really shy. I was like to myself a lot. Um, eventually, throughout the years, we moved from church to church, trying to find where we actually belonged. And then I, right now, we landed here. So ever since we got here, I realized even though we're all different, we're kind of kind of the same. We're all brothers and sisters in Christ. So eventually, I burst out of my shell and I found my place. I met a lot of new people, and ever since then, it's never been the same. So I'm here to tell you guys, just even if it's hard, there's people there for you. If you don't see them, they see you. All you gotta do is ask. And yeah, that's basically it. Congratulations to all of us 2021 seniors. Hello, my name is Leticia Calderon. I'm a senior at Juarez Lincoln High School and I'll be reading my letter of gratitude to a teacher. Dear Ms. Ariana Molar, like every teacher, you dedicated your time and attention to all your students. You prepare your lessons with love and with the hope of helping your students succeed. But I want to thank you for going above and beyond. I want to thank you for everything that you have done for me. You gave me strength to never give up on myself. Whenever I had a problem, you were always there to give me advice on what I had to do to solve it. When I was having family problems, you were always there to listen and you gave me advice on what I needed to do. You are the number one person that has helped me through so much in my life. Thank you for being a blessing in my life. Hello, my name is Ricardo Jimenez and I'm a 2021 senior graduate at Palm Beach High School. Um, so to my fellow class of 2021, I have no words to express how proud I am of each and every one of us. We have overcome many obstacles these past years, some worse than others. Nonetheless, we're still standing here with pride. We now wear this crown of achievement because we are the kings and queens of our generation. We are the ones who will make a difference in the communities among us. These past years have been really stressful for so many of us. We have been stripped away from many of our end of year activities such as prom, trips, sport events, and especially the memories with the friends we have cherished for many years to come. However, I always told myself that there is always a positive side to whatever conflicts or challenges we are facing. In this case, because of the pandemic, we were able to maneuver something new. The pandemic opened the door to new ideas and new technology. As seniors, we were able to communicate with their teachers through our devices from home. Our rooms became classrooms, gyms, dance rooms, and libraries. Who would have ever thought that this transformation would have occurred? But it did, and we adapted well and succeeded. Now, as this journey comes to an end, I would like to thank every single one of you for being one step closer to accomplishing your goals. I've always said that nothing in life is a piece of cake, but that does not mean that it's impossible either. We have to make sure that everything we do, we do it with certainty, joy, and motivation because our life depends on those three factors. Let's make sure whether we attend college or the workforce, that we be brave and have the courage to live out each and every moment to its full potential. Thank you, class of 2021. We have made an impact in the lives of so many people. We have left a legacy, one that will always be cherished for many years to come. Seniors, as we start a new beginning, continue to do your best and always remember that through our graduation, our achievement, and our new journey, we will now have the power to change the world. 
Good afternoon, my name is Jorge de la Rosa and it is my great pleasure to introduce our speaker for this year's 2021 Virtual Baccalaureate Assembly. Ms. Eliza Thalia Benavides is a passionate and enthusiastic high school teacher at Bishop High School in Bishop, Texas. Ms. Benavides is currently an agricultural science teacher, a future Farmers of America advisor, and the huddle leader for the Christian Sports Ministry Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Ms. Benavides is both gifted and godly. She has a servant's heart and enjoys serving God by serving others. She brings the good news of the gospel and the love of Christ to everyone she meets. Six years prior to her high school graduation, Ms. Benavides accepted Christ as her savior. Then she served as a youth pastor at God's Grace Ministry in Mission, Texas. Presently, she is an active member of the Emmanuel Christian Church where she serves in various capacities and roles. Ms. Benavides has also served as a missionary and is passionate about traveling the world and making an impact for Christ while bringing the good news of the gospel to the nations. Now let's welcome Ms. Eliza Benavides. Hello, La Jolla SD, and congratulations, class of 2021. You did it! As the days lead up to graduation, I want to say how proud I am of you. Walking into your schools as freshmen four years ago, this wasn't something that even crossed your mind. I know it didn't cross mine, but I'm so honored to be speaking with you today and humbled to be back home, even if it's virtual. Six years ago, I was in your exact shoes, literally, as a former La Jolla ISD graduate. Go Lobos, class of 2015. The crazy thing is six years ago, around this time, is when I decided to surrender my life to the Lord. For 18 years, I was lost, trying to conform to the world, letting myself be led by others, trying to please everyone, and one day the Lord met me on one of my darkest days. Before this day, I thought I was good with the Lord, thought I was without lack. I knew He was real, but I had no personal connection with Him other than the belief of His existence, occasional prayers, and church visits. Little did I know, I was so wrong. You see, the book of Esther reads in chapter 4, verse 14, Perhaps in the, in the moment for which you have been created, perhaps this is the moment for which you have been created. I'm going to repeat that because I messed up, but I really wanted to repeat that so you can reiterate it. Perhaps this is the moment for which you have been created. You are created for each moment you have experienced, good or bad. Life is full of different moments, but they all shape us into who we are today and continue to shape us daily. Praise God that we grow through the good times and the bad times. Praise God He met me that night when I was so ready to give up. Class of 2021, you've been getting advice your whole life. From teachers, friends, family. I know you feel like you've heard it all already. But let me tell you, in this chapter, you're going to need many reminders. Reminders that sound like everything's going to be okay. Trust in the Lord. You're going to make it through this season. Today, I want to talk to you about the realities of life after high school, how God is merciful and just through them all, and how loved you are. The Lord has always been preparing you for what's next. Whatever, whatever that looks like for you, whether it's college, workforce, trade school, parenthood. For his word says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, not harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Did you hear that? To not harm you, to prosper you, give you a hope and a future. Jesus is our living hope. After college, there will be hardships. Let's just be real. Some of you are in relationships right now. You're in love. Or you're going to experience love in this next chapter. I know when I left high school, I was in love. And I thought it was forever. And sometimes it is for some couples, but that's not always everyone's reality. And that's okay. Because the Lord is not here to harm you or inflict pain on you. People have the misconception that God punishes us or allows bad things to happen to us. The reality is heartache is real, it's inevitable. You will lose people in this season of life. You'll struggle on many levels, emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually. You're going to have financial issues. 
You're going to face a lot of trials you weren't even thinking of right now. But guess what? Those struggles don't define us. They can't, they aren't going to destroy us. You know how I know? One, I just graduated college three years ago. So I'm living proof of God's faithfulness. And two, the Lord tells us in 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 4, verses 8 through 18. Hear me out, it's a long one. But I promise it's effective. We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed. Perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not abandoned. Struck down, but not destroyed. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. For we who are alive are always being given our, our over to death for Jesus' sake, so that his life may also be revealed in our mortal bodies. So then, death is at work in us, but life is at work in you. It is written, I believe therefore I have spoken, since we that, that, sorry, that are the same of spirit, we also believe and therefore speak, because we know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus from the dead will also raise us with Jesus and present us with you to himself. All this is for your benefit, so that the grace that is reaching more and more people may cause thanksgiving to overflow to, overflow to the glory of God. Therefore, we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are renewed day by day. For our light and, mom and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Wow. God is so good. I want you to know that we serve a living healer, a living father, and a living hope. He's gonna meet the need in our hearts and our lives in all times. I said that in this season, God is gonna be merciful and just. What does that mean? What is mercy? What does it mean to be just? Mercy can be defined as compassion or forgiveness shown towards someone whom it is within one's power to punish or harm. We are going to mess up and we are going to fail. It's inevitable, we are sinners. But the Lord is merciful and he is just to forgive. How crazy it is to think that no matter what we do, the Lord has mercy over us. Nothing can separate us from his love. Look at Psalms 103 verses 11 through 12. For as high as heavens are above the earth, so great, is the mercy towards those who fear him. As long as the east is from the west, so far he has removed our wrongdoings from us. One of the biggest things I personally struggle with as a believer, and I can say from personal experiences and relationship, is being loved by the Lord. Growing up, and even in high school, I feel that our perception of love comes from movies, comes from our parents, comes from our friends. But the love of the Lord is unconditional. It's biblically speaking, love is patient, love is kind, love does not boastful, love does not judge, love does not envy. In this next chapter of your life, you will experience the truest love if you allow to walk in it. And I know I say I personally struggle with it because it's something that we're not even used to, it's not part of our nature, that we don't even realize that it's not even part of our nature to feel such an unconditional, pure love of the Lord. So in this season of your life, I'm gonna challenge you to let yourself be loved and love yourself. Right now, society is all about individuality and being equal, but we weren't here to be equal. We were here to be ourselves. Love yourselves, love one another's. You're gonna meet people that are gonna challenge you, people who are going, that you're not going to like, but love them anyway. So one thing I tell any student that I cross, that crosses paths with me, be the change you wanna see in the world. Class of 2021, be the change you wanna see in the world. It is in your hands. Spread light. The Lord literally says, you are the salt of the world. Be salty in a, 
righteous way, not in a petty way. Be salty, love one another, spread the gospel, speak truth, do not continue to speak death over people, speak light and life in abundance. So as we prepare to close out, I surely wanna say a prayer for you guys and with you guys, just as a blessing for your next chapter in life, that we're also proud of you. We're super excited for what's next for you and I know you guys can accomplish many things. But I do encourage you. It's, it was one thing that I wish anybody told me six years ago today was that I needed the Lord in my life. Because, and I know that it sounds super cliche and I know that if I would have heard that six years ago, I wouldn't have really believed it till it literally like the Lord just knocked on my door right in front of me. And I opened it and I haven't turned back and I can say that I've never, I didn't know how much joy I lacked in my life till I gave my life to the Lord and decided to walk in His way. So if you guys would just bow your heads with me right now as we go into prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I just want to thank you for this class, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for all the teachers, all the faculty and staff at all these La Jolla ISD schools who have helped these kids get to this level, Lord Jesus Christ. All the teachers who have served as angels for these kids that have guided them, Lord Jesus Christ. We want to lift up all the parents, Lord Jesus Christ, all the guardians, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, Lord, their families, Lord, that you just be with them, Lord Jesus Christ, that you just bless them, Lord Jesus Christ. We want to pray for this class, Father God, as they enter this new chapter, Lord Jesus Christ, that your word says, no weapon, no scheme of the enemy will prevail against us, Lord Jesus Christ. I just declare that over their lives, Father God. I just pray that as they enter this season, Lord Jesus Christ, that they're solid in their foundation with you, Lord Jesus Christ, that they know that you are king, that you are Lord of lords, that you are the alpha, the omega, the beginning and the end, the way, the truth, and the light of this world, Father God. I pray that you just bring them courage, confidence, strength, Lord Jesus Christ, and that then when they're in need, Father God, that your Holy Spirit is there to remind them that who is their listener, Lord Jesus Christ, their provider, their healer, Lord Jesus Christ, which is you, Father God. I pray for an army of angels to be around them, Lord Jesus Christ, as they travel, wherever they're gonna go to school, wherever they're gonna do in their lives. I pray blessings upon them and their families, Lord Jesus Christ. I just want to thank you for the class of 2021, Father God, for they are warriors already, Lord Jesus Christ. We have been training them, preparing them for this day and for what's next, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you that you are so just to forgive, Lord, so merciful, Lord, and so full of love, Father God. In your mighty name we pray, Lord Jesus Christ, that your hand be over this class, Father God. For they are the future, Lord Jesus Christ. I just pray for revival in this world, Lord, revival in their hearts, Lord Jesus Christ. Revival in this next generation, Father God. Let all this be for your honor and for your glory forever and ever, Lord Jesus Christ. In your mighty name we pray, amen. Thank you, La Jolla ASD, for having me. Thank you, Class of 2021, for having me. Praying for you always. You got this. You can do it. Don't ever give up. Bye, guys. Good afternoon. I am Alia Alvarez from La Jolla High School. I would like to thank all of you for attending our virtual baccalaureate assembly. I would also like to thank all of our seniors from the class of 2021. You've done a great job and we wish you great success in the future and in your endeavors. Now, I would like to pronounce a blessing over all of us. Dear Father, I ask that you bless every senior, every parent, and every person viewing this assembly. I pray that you manifest in their lives and bring revival in their hearts. Also bless them with your mercy, favor, grace, and strength as they reach this end and start a new beginning. Bring forth their divine destiny in you. I thank you, Lord, and bless you for all of our blessings. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.